So I just uh, want to show the data models in Excel 2013. There's a good question a lot about can you do multiple, can you do pivot tables of pivot tables? Well, I'm not aware of being able to do pivots of pivots, but when you have your source data, and I have some stuff here, some dates, item codes, reps, territory, quantities, all of this data, but then what if you wanna know something about the amounts by territory for the sales reps assistant? You know, maybe it's time to calculate their quarterly bonus or whatever. All right. You can use Power Pivot to bring all of this together, but then you need to have the right version of Excel. Um, but with Excel 2013, you can create what's called relationships. And right here, we see that table one area is linked to managers tables region, right? The, I'm gonna back up here a bit. The table one area, the managers region. So you can start to put these pieces of data together and I have a data model already and yeah, let's get rid of that. Show the field list. Okay. So now we have all of the tables in our worksheet because I created relationships. They are here and available for us in a pivot table interface. So we can say, so go ahead and uh, Take this amount out, take out the assistant, and let's say, okay, let's bring in vendor C's price as our value, and then look at it by, say, the sales rep. Put that in our rows, and then let's put our assistant in the columns. So now we can see data from multiple tables all together. And prior to 2013, this would have taken a whole lot of formulas, a whole lot of very delicate formulas to do this. So you people, and I'm telling you, 2003 and XP are about to no longer be supported. And not only are you gonna miss out on the support, you're missing out on these cool features like creating relationships. All right, get it together. All right, so that is a hot tip and I am gonna give it five Sriracha bottles because you got to do this. This is no, I, love, I love those relationships. Yes. I don't, you know, I may get in trouble for saying this. We, I don't think we have a hate mail line yet, but I kind of think that once you use those relationships, you don't need Microsoft Access anymore. I'm still not even sure. Right. I'm not sure what I would use it for. I think it's 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 quicker, it's better, you don't have to write queries, but it's like you're writing them on the fly. Well, you are writing them on the fly, I and mean, that's what's mm -hmm. happening in the background. So, mm -hmm. And I don't know Access well enough to, to speak to that, but I know that it's, um, these relationships have done a whole lot. It you know, made a lot of things so much easier.